All right, new at noon, denied a license but not giving up. Local investor Jimmy Gould applied to build a nearly 20-acre marijuana grow facility in Wilmington, Ohio, but he didn't make the cut. Nine of your sides, Ali Kramer just spoke with him about his next steps. But first, Ali, this isn't the only local investor that was denied, correct? Well, that's right, Tamika. Ryan Guy's founder, Bob Bonder, was part of another group that also applied for a license, but his group also denied. He told Nine on Your Side he was disappointed, but still dedicated to breathing new life into their Camp Washington property. Jimmy Gould, on the other hand, isn't accepting his rejected application, telling us that there are these fatal flaws in the application process. Now, that process started months ago. More than 100 companies applied for just 24 licenses to cultivate medical marijuana in Ohio. Now, Canascend, that company he is with submitted plans for a massive facility that would have brought 300 jobs to Wilmington. Gould says that inadequate graders awarded those licenses to groups who lacked security and safety plans, who lacked proper packaging with dosage labels. And Gould says that the applicants who were awarded licenses were allowed to change their applications after they were submitted. Gould claims that that's not allowed. In the end, he says the whole process was unfair. Whether we end up with a license or we don't end up with a license, that's not what this is about. I want to be really clear about that. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are cynical about it or think this is sour grapes. That's not what's going on here. And I don't really care how people look at that. I care that this process is broken. I care that there should have been better oversight over this process. And I care where this ends up. Now, Gould says that his team is asking for a complete review of the process and says they will not stop until they get a fair process. Now, no Hamilton County companies were granted cultivation licenses, either big or small, but there is one in our area. Tamika? Uh, that's right, Allie. There will be one in Brown County. We found out about that yesterday. Columbia Care in Mount Orb says its grow operation will create between 100 and 200 jobs. Now, the mayor there says any tax money that it gets from that operation will be used to hire more police officers and firefighters. And Bruce Lumford says that he does see some value in medical marijuana. It benefits a lot of different diseases. Uh, one of them is cancer. My younger sister died of cancer. Uh, one of the uh, benefits is it uh, slows the progressions of Alzheimer's. Uh, my mother's in a nursing home right now with Alzheimer's. Um, you know, and, it's, and that's not saying that I support medical marijuana, but there are certain benefits of it. Well, the mayor added with so many firms applying for licenses, he didn't think the Columbia Care would be successful.